Okay guys, this would be the demo video how to work on Sony TCM200 tape transport. Uh, I will do my best so you would be able to see yourself in close how to work with it. There is just a couple moments uh, you should be aware of uh, before you start doing it. Uh, first of all, if you will disassemble uh, to replace the small control belt which sits here, right? This means that you would need to remove uh, the base which holds capstance. And in this case, uh, to do it, you will need to remove uh, both pinch roller arms. And you should have a tape alignment gauge, head has alignment gauge, like that to be able to do it properly otherwise it would be tricky to set the height of the left pinch roller but if you don't have it and still have do need to do it so you have to set the left roller uh, and left guy height the way so the tape would go in the middle of the record head so uh, when tape goes on the record head exactly the same amount of uh, free space should be left on the top head on the bottom of its head so this is the major part even if you don't have a gauge and you have to do it okay uh, now let's start this assembly let me pull the spring out okay Step number two, remove here. Step number three, remove this plastic ring. Come on, I need another glasses, sorry. It's too small for me to see well. Okay, next remove this pin and we should be good to go open this part to remove the cover like that. See, we get access to the head. Now I've just seen the head with a close view is heavily worn. It has large grooves and if been like uh, uh, worn flat, you see, so there is a like flat area, I believe like it's been worn like half millimeter deep. So that's why it doesn't reproduce any high frequencies at all anymore. So you see, it still sits on the factory settings only azimuth adjustment has been done, but on the right side, height and tilt are on the factory settings. So we may check just for the case, if you like, uh, how it aligns with what I'm doing. So see, height, it should go easily here. And tilt. Let me see this way. Yes, and tilt should be good as well. I'm not sure if you can see here, but that's how we can check tilt. So see the light through and make sure that uh, there is a light goes symmetrically between your uh, tool and the head. Okay. Let's continue this assembly and we still need to uh, rebuild the tape transport, lubricate it. So these two screws require a different screwdriver, smaller one. Okay, that's how we can remove this panel with the light. Okay, it's not sitting properly, I see here. 
someone already did it before me okay next we need to remove this ring here and remove this gear the same plastic ring this can be easily removed okay come on and remove this arm here okay next part we will go on the back and we will uh-huh this is wrong this guy should be here <laughs> someone was here already We will remove these four screws. Actually, in your tape transport, it should be five screws because you would need to remove this one because uh, this goes right here. I'm sorry, I have to take up a call and we'll be back with you shortly.